Good morning. Over the years, the feature set of Mac OS X has grown to an incredible portfolio. And our latest release, Leopard, is the most successful software product Apple has ever had. With features like CoverFlow in Finder, Quick Look, Time Machine, our users really love it, and so does the press. It's by far the best operating system written for the vast majority of consumers. What a sharp contrast with what's been <laughs> happening up north. Here's the press again. Vista has failed to catch on with mainstream computer users, while businesses have shunned it outright. Indeed, Microsoft has dug quite a big hole for themselves with Vista. And they're trying to get out of it with Windows 7. But underlying Windows 7, you have the same old technologies, DLLs, the registry, <laughs> disk defragmentation. No end user should ever have to know about that. <laughs> the user account control, that's the security subsystem that prevents your PC from being infested at the cost of tons of alerts. And in Windows 7, to address the alerts problem, even more complexity thrown upon the user. So that's Windows 7, same old technology as Vista. Fundamentally, it's just another version of Vista. We come out from such a different place we love Leopard. We're really happy how it has turned out. We're proud of Leopard. And so when it became time to think about the next big cat, we decided to name it Snow Leopard, to build upon Leopard. And the challenge that we set for ourselves is to build a better Leopard. So what does that mean? Three things. First, lots of refinements across board. Second, powerful new technologies. And third, exchange support. 